In this video, we'll talk about live components. This is a new feature from SketchUp Labs. I'm using the free version or the web version of SketchUp here, and you can't import dynamic components into it, but you can import live components. Live components are configurable. They can be made parametric, and you can download them from the 3D warehouse. The whole idea of them is that you can make your own live components, upload them, and then millions can use and configure them. So click on Components, and we get Search 3D Warehouse. And I'll do a search for live components. Scroll down to advanced and then turn on live components and go to collections. These are mostly done right now by SketchUp and SketchUp Labs. You can tell it's a live component by this lightning bolt. So I'll download this door live component I'll choose this one. Click Download and Configure, and it imported it online. And here I have all these choices. I can change the width, the height, the number of rails, and all these other features. So, as you can see, this is parametric. Let's look at another one. Under Products, I have all these individual live components, and notice they all have the lightning bolt. I'll click on the table, and you can see these are choices I have. If you use the desktop version of SketchUp, you need to download the component into its own file and then drag it into an open file for it to work. Let's look once more. Let's do one more search for live components. You can click on Models or Collections. See, again, the lightning bolt means it's a live component. Let's look at the fire escape. I'm going to get rid of these. And let's configure it. We can change the number of floors. mirror it, change the ground floor height, handrail height. Now what if you want to make your own live components? You can do so in this space that Trimble has made available at creator.trimble.com. If you click here on the EDU mode, you'll find tutorials. For example, navigation. Here's an example of a window. And if I click each step, I can see down here is where you do the coding. 
click on this and I can choose these options. Click here, choose these options. I can connect what I want to each other. It's rather involved, but again, this tutorial will take you through it and show you what this parametric window needs to look like. I'll click here for the tutorial on node interactions. Here's information on it. See if you click here, then you can right click and do some things. Anyhow, this is just showing you what this new feature of Live Components is and how you can play with it on your own if you want.